good afternoon in England, wherever you are watching in the world, because I know I have a lot of people subscribed to this channel from all over the world. And thank you ever so much for subscribing, it really means the world to me. We're going to begin a series of examinations of vowel sounds individually. So we're going to start with the first letter of the alphabet, the letter A. Now the most important thing about the sound A is that we remember it's a diphthongal sound. The diphthongal sounds have to have some sort of movement in the mouth. It's either the lips that move or the tongue that moves inside the mouth. With the A sound, both the lips and the tongue move. And the jaw needs to be nice and free and relaxed. Before you practice vowel sounds, it is an idea to do some breathing exercises and a simple warm-up, which I have recorded videos about if you're not sure how to do that. Or I might not have done a video about breathing. I've definitely done a warm-up. Um, but I could record one about breathing exercises. That would be a, a good idea next week. Okay, so the A sound begins with the E. E. And you can see where my tongue is inside my mouth. It's quite flat and quite visible. E. E. And then the tongue rises up for the I. I. So E. I. E. I. When we put that together, a, 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 very slow motion, obviously, just for the purposes of demonstration. But you can see when I say it's normal speed, a, a, that it's just the same. The tongue rises up from the e to the i. It might help if you exaggerate the lip shape and the tongue movement when you're practicing the sound. The most common mistake is that people pronounce it as a ah, when it should be a. Some of the spellings that use some of the spellings that produce the sound, as well as the single letter a in words like take and cake, uh, you find words like rainbow where we have the A-I that makes the A sound. And words like pay, tray, gay, they have A-Y which produces the same sound, the A. And then E-I-G-H in words like slay or eight. And A-I-G-H in words like straight. And there are lots and lots of examples of words that use this sound. I'm going to read you some from um, an outline of English phonetics by Daniel Jones, which is a really, really good book, but it's very in-depth. Um, okay, so let's try some words. If I say the words and then you repeat after me. Pay. Bathe. Table, day, scale, game, change, James, maid, both spellings M A I D and M A D E, neighbor, and you can hear with that N because the N is such a nasal consonant that the N does steal some of the sound neighbour, because it's produced up here in the nasal cavity. But still try and throw that A sound forward. Neighbour. Okay, good. Late. Railway. Face. Veil. Both V-E-I-L and V-A-L-E have the same sound. They. Same. Haste. Wake, uh, player, and they are, as in they are with the apostrophe in the middle. So that's the A sound. And to practice it, remember that we have the S followed by the I, S, I, A, 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 and then add consonants to the beginning of the sound. Bay, K, Day, Fay. 
way, they, and just keep practicing them like that. You can also practice them on an ascending and a descending scale. Bay, 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 bay. I'm not a singer. And you can practice them with different inflections. K, J, J, K. Thank you for watching today's video about the letter sound A. Remember to bring it forward, send it forward, and keep it forward. It's such a big sound, and you really need to let it come forward. I also publish a podcast that you can listen to on iTunes for free. I am seeking sponsorship for the podcast, so if you'd like to reach 3,000 people a week for £30 a month, then please contact me, info at midwintertuition.co.uk. You can also email me at that address, info at midwintertuition.co.uk, if you'd like to book a lesson with me. Individual lessons are available over Skype. You can pay via PayPal. I'm available during the day, Monday to Friday, and evenings Monday to Thursday. Hopefully, whatever time zone you're in, we can still find a time that we can work together, either on Skype or on Help Helps by Google. Lovely to see you all again. Keep in contact. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.